emotionally charged response sometimes, <laughs> and uh, people often surprise at each other's views regardless of where they are. So, so Jim, maybe let's let's start with you. Um, for one thing, of course, you are a food vendor at the festival, and um, and uh, maybe have some some uh, strong views in terms of both either your life or whatever that sort of carried you into the particular kind of food that you uh, run as your business and will be serving at the festival. Um, I became a vegan 10 years ago and a vegetarian 15 years ago, and I, the reason that I chose to become a vegetarian uh, was for the animals. I was working in the humane societies in the animal shelters and o over learning what factory farming was all about, uh, I made the choice uh, not to eat meat and to uh, just consume a plant-based diet. Um, in doing that, uh, I'm helping two other uh, uh, facets, and that is one, the environment, and two, I'm helping my health. Um, so there are three reasons that people choose to become vegetarian or vegan, and no matter which uh, way is important to you or, or to any listener out there, uh, they're all intertwined. And so I'm happy when someone chooses uh, vegetarianism or is exploring it. Uh, it is a passion to me. It is important uh, now for the other reasons as well, uh, the environment and my health. Um, so when I opened my hot dog cart called Let Us Eat Healthy, uh, I'm able to go downtown and I'm able to offer a healthier option. You don't have to be vegetarian. You don't have to be a vegan. But it's certainly much more healthy to eat the food off of my cart than if you were eating a beef hot dog. Uh, or beef Italian sausage or whatever. Um, so I talk to a lot of people every day. I'm pleased with the results. I get a lot of um, customers who are not vegetarian, but they're looking out for their own health. Cool. Well, Linda, how about you? Your views on this? Um, I'm actually not a vegetarian. Um, okay. I, again, my, my mom didn't raise us with vegetables. We were raised in, in a Cuban household with steak, rice, and beans. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Veronica? Uh, I have very long days, and I've noticed that if I eat fish and veggies, my energy goes really long. Um, and it's just been about the last 10 years that I've just become a huge fish and veggie person. As you know, a, well, meaning that not, not so much meat, I assume. Not so much meat. Yeah, we, okay. I hardly ever eat meat. I mean, I guess mm -hmm. maybe when I'm driving or I'm walking by and somebody's making barbecue, and it's just like, whoa, yeah. Uh, but other than that, it's really, I usually tend to go towards fish and vegetables, but I can't wait for Sunday to try one of your hot dogs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and Ronnie, how about you? I've been a vegetarian for about 45 years, and uh, it, it, it occurred to me uh, around the same time, actually I think it occurred to me sooner, I just didn't do anything about it, but I, I think it's one of the most important facets of my life, and I need to serve as some kind of example for people that I'm around, and I can't imagine that we'll ever do away with wars until we do away with uh, killing animals for our use. So it's all one big picture for me. 